just 14 years old when he was murdered after being groomed over the internet. And since then, his mum, Lauren, has campaigned for greater safety online. Now, Lauren, along with other bereaved families, has met the UK's media regulator, Ofcom, to discuss amendments to the online safety bill that could help coroners obtain crucial evidence from the tech companies. Celestina Olalude reports. February and March are always a really difficult time for me because Breck was unfortunately killed on my birthday. 14-year-old Breck Bednar was murdered nine years ago by an older teenager who groomed him online. Breck had a really kind of subtle sense of humor and he was quite chilled. And, you know, if you think about a big brother with triplets helping them with their schoolwork and, and advice on how to, you know, get good grades. Almost a decade later, the family is still haunted by internet trolls. Since Breck's death, one of his siblings has regularly received um, messages with trolling or har harassing or threatening. It just sort of exacerbated the pain and the grief and, and the depression of our family. Since her son's death, Lauren has campaigned tirelessly for greater online safety. We want to make sure that content that is pushed towards children on their devices is age appropriate and safe for them. A new set of laws to protect children and adults online is currently working its way through Parliament. It's for the benefit of learning things. Of course. Yeah. But Lauren and these parents want the new law to go further by helping them obtain information about the material their children accessed before they died. I've had the privilege and the pain to have worked with a lot of bereaved families. Neither they nor the coroner where there was an inquest could get in touch with the companies in order to get the material that would shed light on the circumstances of the death of their child. And, and that seemed to me just a, a criminal injustice. If successful, the media regulator Ofcom would play a key role in helping parents legally obtain information from tech companies. You should cover all four nations. It's a change Ruth Moss backs. Her daughter, Sophie Parkinson, took her own life at 13 years old after viewing harmful content online. It's heartbreaking because this is your child and you feel like you have the right to that information because these were children. In any other part of society, I'm expected to be the responsible parent and yet I'm not able to get the data and access to the data that I need um, to be able to find out what happened. Social media companies have said they're keen to find solutions, but they say they also have to respect laws in individual countries and protect users' data. But these parents are clear they will keep fighting for their demands to be met. Celestina Olulode, BBC News.